everyone. Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Monday's with me. It's 10 o'clock. I've done the school run. I've had my breakfast. I've written my blog post for the day. I can relax now. So welcome to everyone as you join. Um, I hope you're all safe and well. I am going to be making a birthday card this morning for you and I'm going to show you a few little techniques. I'm hoping it'll be a bit more successful than last night's envelope. So for those of you that watched last night I was mortified that the envelope went so wrong but hey I got over it. I went to bed afterwards so all is well. Today I am going to case a card. Case means to copy and selectively edit. You see the term kind of all over social media and on demonstrator posts. So the idea being is that you take a design and you make your own version of it simply. So I'm going to do that today. Um, I'm going to use a new stamp set called Fancy Phrases in the annual catalogue and it's really lovely. Um, so there'll be a bit of fussy cutting involved this morning, of course, um, but no rainbows and no envelopes. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to flip my screen around so you can see my desk and we can make a start. So bear with me, guys. OK, so there's nothing on my desk, really. Um, I am going to wing it again this morning. How good is that? I wanted to show you my kind of creative process. I get a lot of comments about where do you get your ideas from? How do you come up with the the layout, etc. So the truth is all over the place from Pinterest, social media, um, the catalogue is an amazing source of inspiration for card designs and also cards that I get sent as well. So this is one, this is about four years old, this card, and I absolutely love it. And it's on my little shelf behind me. I do like to display a lot of people's work that they send me. Um, so this is what I'm going to case today for you. So this is an old, really, really old celebration set. I think it's about four, three or four years old. But I love the design and I want to show you just how you can kind of take one design and modernise it with a new stamp set or an old stamp set. So let's get started. I am going to go with, I've gone for my colours. I've gone for Soft Sea Foam, Smoky Slate and Basic Grey. So similar colour palette, but a little different. Okay, so let's get started. I've still got my grid paper down from last night because I literally turned the camera off turned the lights off and went indoors last night so we're going to cut our card base to start and I'm going to cut it at ten and a half centimeters top to bottom and I'm going to score it at 14.9 so we're going to go with a ten fold card today and then we just fold it in half now we want a little layer of basic grey so I'm going to take this down to 10 centimetres by 14.4 so that measurement is just half a centimetre smaller so you can just see that layer coming together like so and then we want another layer of this and I'm going to take this down by a whole centimetre so let's go to 13.4 we want that lovely grey, dark grey showing through and we're going to take it down to just check I've done that right yes we've taken that down by a centimetre so this is 13 14.4 so we want it to be 13.4 yes and 10 so we're going to take that down to 9 okay. so it's starting to piece together like so okay now this piece here I'm just going to cut get that piece out of the way a two centimeter strip and I'm going to cut it down to 13.4 so the measurement the height of that piece of basic 
grey like so. Okay. So then we're going to use a die. So the die for this one actually comes from Be Mine Stitched Framelits. Okay, and it's an edgelet die. So this is it here. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to lay this flush. We're going to lay the curvy edge so it is flush against the edge of that piece of soft sea foam. Okay, and before we're going to do anything else, we're going to stick it down. Hi everyone, hi to Margaret, hi to Laurie. Welcome from Belgium. Wow, travelling the far this morning. So we're just sticking this die to this piece of card and I'm just using some washi tape for that because it is such a narrow die it will move. Okay so we've just stuck that down like so and I'm just going to run this through my stamping cut and emboss machine behind me. So this is what happens. You have this piece comes away and then in here I'm just going to peel this off really gently. You have this lovely little detail left which what we can do is we can add that to our card like so so we get that really pretty edge. Now the way I do this is I take some tear tape and I put this so that it's flush against the edge of my card on the reverse. Peel away the backing. And then as you turn it over, you can then just stick that down like so. So this, this edge has actually got a lovely bit of stitching detail on this card there was no stitching so we can now add this like so okay so that is my version now moving on this is the stamp set we're going to use okay now this stamp set i haven't even used it yet so this is how they come and this is a really good way of showing you how to put your stamps together so you have your stamps here that are all on one big sheet this is how they come out of the factory so you've got all of your lovely stamps and then you have your sticker sheet now on the sticker sheet so this is the main image you can see that they are just split in half which helps you put them together so how to do this is you leave your sticker on the sheet well, don't say this is there are other ways you can do this but I find this is the easiest way and then this you have a plastic coating so peel that off this bit is sticky so this will stick to your block like so but these stickers are super super sticky so they actually stick to your block even nicer and then you're just going to line up your stamp with that image okay and then it is stuck to there so all you need to do is peel it off so there's no mess went on first time and that's a really big image actually and I'm quite impressed with how easy that was to to stick on there's no overlap and it's nice and straight okay so what I tend to do is I tend to leave my sticker sheet in the box like that and then I peel all my stamps out of the rubber and leave them attached to that once they've been had their sticker stuck on the back of them. That way I know at a glance that I've got everyone in the box and it keeps them nice and safe. Okay. And then you take your acrylic block and you pop it on there. I also want this one as well. So again, just take the back of your sticker off while it's stuck on the sheet like so peel off the backing piece of your stamp and then line it up 
on your sticker sheet. Okay, so we have those two, like so. Okay, so we're now going to stamp this onto some Whisper White, of which I have some scrap here, and I'm stamping in Memento. This stamp really reminds me of the imagery on the Bird Ballad DSP that we had last year. Does anyone else agree? Anyone else see that or is it just my crazy eyes? So there we have it. So that's the first stamp. I've obviously not stamped that at all and that comes out really, really nice. And then now we can, these are the layering circle dies, and I want, so these match up nicely, so that is the one that I want to use to cut that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim around each one of these. Okay, like that. So then what we do is we pop this through there like so so we also want to trim around this one the idea being is that we're going to tuck all of these pieces in to do it so that these kind of hang over the edge of our circle. And this is a technique that Michelle Lars taught us at a recent or at a training event. And then it's just this one. And this is so that we don't have to fussy cut the whole thing out. Okay. So this is quite fiddly, but it will be worth it. them pieces up like so. I'm just going to trim into that a little bit more like so. So now we'll pop that die goes in there like so. So we can now cut that out. So I'm just going to lay that on my die machine behind me. So we end up with it looking like that. So we've got a lovely die cut circle with our imagery on but obviously we've got these lovely overhanging pieces so it saves us having to fussy cut that whole piece out. And I know I love a bit of fussy cutting, but I just wanted to show you another technique that you can do with your dies. 
and then I'm going to stamp this again. I want to stamp that middle section so that we can 3D those lovely roses in the centre. Okay. There we have it. So on here we want to cut out these lovely roses. And I am going to cut this out on the line. Chop that bit off. It's always nice to kind of highlight part of a stamp, especially when it's quite busy like this. Okay, so I'm just following it round. Let's cut that one out as well. Like so. It's quite a long coffee and card today. Usually my coffee and cards are quite quick. I think after last night's disaster I wanted to treat you all a bit. Because it was a disaster. So I'm just following this round. And I'm just cutting on that line. Usually when I fussy cut, I leave a little white border. But today I am leaving, I am cutting on that line. Okay, so now we have our... little bit of detail like so okay and now i'm going to get some blends to color back in with so we're going to go with old olive and we're going to go with some so saffron yeah let's have a bit of that color today so these are alcohol markers and they come in most of the stamping up colors a few of them And I'm just going to go round. Oh dear. This is what happens. So they've got something inside it. That one is. The lid is stuck on. That's better. So I'm just going to highlight these lovely leaves now. So I'm starting with the lighter colour. And the great thing about this stamp is that the shading kind of. There's shading already there. So some of the work has been done for you. So I'm starting with the lighter colour. This is old olive. So with the stamping blends you get two tones of each colour. You get a light shade and you get a dark shade. started with the light with the dark so sorry I started with the light and now I'm just gonna add in some tone of the dark and this I think really makes the colouring kind of come together and I'm not being overly careful I think the design of this stamp is that you, you don't necessarily have to be And then just keep going over until you are happy. I tend to go light, dark, and then light again to blend the two together. You can also use the colour lifter, which is a white tipped pen. And you think, oh, that's not really doing much. But once it dries and absorbs into the paper, you get a really lovely blend. So I show that to the camera. Okay, so let me know what you think of that. And now we can go in with our yellow. So I'm just going to quickly colour in these ones here because although they're going to be covered, 
um, because we're going to add them with a dimensional you will still see a little bit of it so the ones we're going to see are actually those ones so now I can go in with my dark and actually there's not a great deal of difference between the dark and the light in So Saffron so I'm just going to grab a Daffodil Delight one which is our next shade up in the yellow okay so this should yeah that's a little bit stronger just ever so slightly So now we can colour in with the, let's just colour this all over to start with. And then now I'm just going to grab the darker and yellow as well. So I want to make these stand out just that little bit more. So this is Dark Daffodil Delight. that I wanted for just to bring out that colour and I'm just colouring over where the kind of shading seems to be because I do think that's really helpful colouring that centre as well now so it's starting to come together go back over with that light and that's what I love about these stamping blends is you can just keep adding as much colour as you want until you are really happy with what you've got so there when you put that on now you can really see the difference in the yellows so we can now add that with some dimensionals so I'm just going to put one there one there one there and we'll add a little piece there and before I stick it on I'm just going to fold the edges kind of curl the edges slightly this so just line up the lines that's it so you can see that's been you can see there is dimension there so this is really starting to come together and you can kind of see how I'm casing it how I'm copying it in terms of the layout but I'm selectively editing it so I'm using a different stamp because that stamp that is on that original is really quite old and it has retired. I'm just going to add some definition here because it does look like they're all blending into kind of one. Okay, and then what you can do if you wanted to, you could add some more leaves, but I'm going to leave that like that. And then using this scallop circle... This is ever so slightly bigger than this white one that we've cut here. So I'm going to cut that out of soft sea foam cardstock. These dies are really handy. The circles are probably my most used set of dies. And they're really popular. They tend to be the ones that you buy and you use and use and use because they're such a staple okay so 
so now this can be added to here and it's just bringing out more of that color every single time more of the green every time so we can add this with some dimensionals as well so it's only a very small layer of um, green that we can see I just want to break up some of that background on this card it's been embossed but I've added the the edgelet first so you can't really see I can't really do that now that I've stuck that down so I'm taking a dark smoky slate blend and I'm using the felt tip end I'm just going to add a bit of speckling to the card it just breaks up that background ever so slightly okay so now we can add this to our card and i'm going to add this with some dimensionals i really want to be able to notice that scallop edge so by adding a dimensional underneath will just raise that up ever so slightly so you'll be able to see that can you see that and then now this piece can be stuck down flat and I'm just going to use some Tombow for that I'm going to put that about there and again I'm going to add that with a dimensional layer underneath like so so you're starting to see how they're ever so slightly similar but also ever so slightly different so now we want to use our we want to choose a sentiment so I am going to use birthday wishes or a little something for you which one should we use hmm. well, it's not in there there is it it's here. let's use birthday wishes was just showing earlier for those of you that have joined this is how the stamps come when you receive them they come all added to, into this sheet and you pop your stamp out you find your coordinating sticker peel off the back on your stamp you have a protective white layer peel that off and then just line that up on your sticker sheet and peel off the back Okay. so there we have our lovely sentiment and this I'm actually going to heat emboss I think you've got a little bit of black cardstock we've got a nice embossing buddy this just takes off the static on your card so that when you add your embossing powder you get a really nice crisp embossed look so use Versamark to stamp which is a sticky ink pad so you can just see that ever so slightly on there and then we want our white embossing powder see the embossing powder is stuck on there it's really dull if you were to touch that with your finger it would actually come away because we need to set it and we set it with a heat tool which is a bit like a hairdryer and I'll try and get this on camera for you it's a bit noisy 
and you'll see that once it's set it goes shiny so it's just starting to go now Now we can cut this out and I'm actually going to cut this, I'm going to cut the word birthday out and then I'll show you a really fun technique to how to stamp that wishes. So I'm just following the edge and leaving a little black border around the embossing. And lots of detail on this card. slowly following it round this is where I think I need smaller fingers just trimming in as much as I can without obviously cutting my fingers off so there we have birthday and what I love about using it in the black is that it just pops on that design really really nicely now a bit of scrap whisper white and we're going to mask off that word birthday just give that a bit of a clean Add on a bit of washi tape so that the area around wishes can't be seen. And then we're going to stamp this with ink like so. Peel off the washi tape and stamp onto white. So there we have a really clean wishes. So that sentiment looks like that and now we looks like that so what I can do is trim this into a little strip like so and we can add that And I'm going to add this with a glue dot, which are behind me. So these glue dots are really handy when you want just a little bit of adhesive. See on this, you can see the little dot is just there. So birthday is there like so and wishes can be added underneath and try and get that straight if you can. So there we have our finished card front. A little bit different 
to this one here which is what I started with we've kept it the colors very very similar except from the pink I've changed it to the green and the yellow and then all we need to do is add some bits inside so let's have a little layer of the sea foam color and I'm going to do this so that it is the size of this piece of grey, this piece of grey at the front, which was, I believe, nine centimetres by 13.4. And then we want a piece of white that is just a little bit smaller. I've got some scrap white here. So we want 12.9 centimetres by eight and a half, which is just half a centimetre smaller. Struggling with where to put things behind me now. And we can mount these two together. You could add a layer of the dark grey as well if you want to. I don't want to make that inside layer too thick so I'm just going to go with these two that's it and inside like so and I will just do a little bit of stamping on that inside so that we've got a nice amount of detail okay, so in here we've got what sentiments did we have we had may your deal date may your deal may your day be filled with heartfelt happiness. Let's have that, but let's stamp this first. This is really pretty. This one. I'm gonna stamp that over there, and then onto here. And have this peel this off. Let's pull that off, get a block. Terrible stamping. I put too much pressure on that starting piece. I think I might have done it again actually. Let's try again. No, that's a lot better. So then let's trim this into a. Now, do I have to double up on postage? So I haven't had to doesn't weigh too much I don't think um, but if you have to double up on postage I definitely wouldn't be adding this piece so let's quickly just color this in and then I will let you all go back to your a little bit of and then last but not least let's stick in our before I do that I'm just going to add a bit of speckle And there we have it that is our finished coffee and card design for you today so we started off with this card to case um, this was sent to me a good few years ago by my good friend and Dem upline Michelle last 
and we've updated it changed a little bit we've cased it so case means to copy and selectively edit so I've copied the kind of layout but I've selectively changed the stamping and the layers okay and I've shown you if you want to watch back a really fun technique with how we actually can die cut after we've done our stamping so this was all stamped onto the layer of white that we've then die cut into that circle we've got a bit of heat embossing and then inside we've got a bit more detail to finish so that's it from me today thank you so much to everyone who's followed along it's a bit of a long one today a lot longer than I would normally be I'm off now to do some crafting with two lovely friends for the day something I've been looking forward to for weeks and weeks um, I hope you have a lovely day as well this is my last live now until next Wednesday me and my little family were off on holiday um, early Thursday so I will see you all very very soon if you have any questions about anything I've done today any of the products I've used techniques feel free to give me a message and I will come back to you as soon as I can thanks so much everyone have a lovely day take care now bye